Hey everybody, this is Pastor Sean Odom from Cross Point Church in Weatherford, Oklahoma with your God is Awesome and the Bible is Cool vlog. Today's focal passage comes from the book of Psalm, Psalm chapter 127 to be exact. So I'd like to go ahead and read that for us this morning. Here's what it says. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guards stand watch in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring like a, offspring a renew, reward from him. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children born in one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they contend with their opponents in court. So, you know what? Parenting. <laughs> Parenting can be tough, to be sure. I am a parent, and I understand this. It's hard work, even if you don't have children of your own. You might be a mentor or a role model for a younger generation. That's a daunting task. That's why so many people, there are so many, like, you know, open youth pastor positions in this country. The need is great, but the lack of people willing to sacrifice what it takes to raise a child in the way of the Lord, way of the Lord is just as great. This is an unfortunate reality in today's world. Men, specifically, and women, do not feel that they have the time nor the ability to raise or mentor a child. Unfortunately, many shrink from the responsibility of guiding the children they do have in the right manner. Look, we are called to fill the need to raise our children in the way of God. And in order to do that properly, we have to let God lead us. In order to guide a young person towards a relationship with Christ, two things must occur before even opening your mouth. The first is you have to give the task up to the Lord. You must present yourself as a sacrifice and present your children as a canvas that you want God to fill with color and life. They are His after all. You're only the conduit for leading them to Him. The second thing that must be done is that you must be a model of Christianity in your personal walk with God. You must be continuing growing. Now that's going to serve as an example to the child that you are committed, uh, that you are committed, and it's going to demonstrate the need for them to be committed as well. Look, as the psalmist said, children are a blessing. The Bible clearly states that. The task of raising them or mentoring them can enrich our lives in a way that cannot be experienced in any other way. Even though they drive us up the wall, we butt heads sometimes. They drive us to the wall and up it, across the ceiling, sometimes down the other side. Look, we must remember that God has granted us the opportunity to influence their lives for Him. When we view our charges as such, we will be better able to guide them towards Christ. That's my prayer for us this morning. Those of us who are parents, be a parent. You don't have to be their friend, you know, buddy, buddy, whatever. Be their parent and raise them in the fear and admonition of the Lord. And if you have any influence in any child's life, be the same and do that in Jesus' name. God bless, guys. See you Sunday.